Hi there. Well, <clears throat> I got some sort of good news and some sort of bad news. Um, this is the uh, table that we're going to to make for the four meter by two meter uh, laser. Um, it's not finished. Um, I've just been trying to fit it in as and when I can, time wise. I've got Liam, um, who's the guy who's uh, helping me with all of this, pretty much doing all the all the drawing work. I'm involved in the design work. Uh, so we've got, um, these are catch trays for all the components. These rails um, here are for the slats. And um, we'll put in some uh, pyramid slats so that we can, uh, you know, if I had to get rid of the trays and you can see it a little bit better, there we go. Um, so the slats will go in these. Uh, we're making it quite a rigid body because the trays are going to be on wheels and they're going to pull out with these sections so they'll be in sections so they pull out this is the electrical box back here a cover for all the electrical components and there's the start uh, of the of the beam and how we're going to do it we're going to have to uh, much uh, to my dismay we are going to have to mount the rails on the top uh, mainly due to Engineering constraints really we can't there's no way I can afford to have these surfaces machined up through the side to make sure we're dead parallel and things like that if anybody's got any ideas obviously uh, give me a shout um, but I think the top mounts are going to be fine um, we'll put bellows on them to protect them uh, we've got to have the two drives either side we're going to have two 850 watt drives uh, that's a grand total of 1700 watts 1.7 kilowatts drive being forced on that beam which is plenty to get up to the speeds at which we need. We're shooting for 80 to 100 meters a minute. That's pretty quick. That is that is pretty quick. If we get that far, I'll be very, very happy, but I don't think there's enough travel to allow the acceleration to reach, you know, we'd have to have quite short acceleration times, which is gonna put a lot of strain on the machine. So we probably won't be able to do that. Although the rapids will be, I'm aiming for the rapids to be around about 70 to 80 meters a minute. That is the plan. That's what we've gauged the motors to. So with a bit of luck and a follow on wind, we should be able to sort that out. Uh, if you stand by, um, I'm about to unbox some of the components that have turned up from uh, Skyfire Laser. Uh, they've been pretty good. Uh, it's ended up being several days early, which is great. Uh, for us to order the next components though, we've got to do some work and earn some money. So uh, with a bit of luck, we should be able to get those ordered and get a bunch more stuff in um, relatively quickly, even though they're on holiday or they've got a festival over there from the 1st to the 8th, I believe, uh, which is going to restrict the times at which they can ship stuff out. But we're on it. We're, we're, we're getting there. So that's the plan. That is the plan there. Um, it is a hefty table. I want it to be a hefty table because of the speed at which I want this thing to travel at. So like I say, um, anybody any ideas leave me comments below and stand by we'll be doing a little bit of unboxing in a second okay so here we are this is the box that has come from China from Skyfire Laser uh, I have obviously pre cut the tape I'm not gonna pull you up by any of that but let's have a little peek at what we've got in here so we have a control board I believe we have a mini PC which is cool and we have a bunch of cables let's have a look we've got cable there we have got cable there there and that looks like the cable for the height sensing uh, we've got oh these are the cables uh, no I get it okay um, these are the cables for the motors so we've got another one there so we've got four that's y1 y2 x and z uh, we have two land cables they look quite good quality land cables actually I must say um, and we also have our height sensing module this is all very exciting uh, and we've got I'm not sure what we've got in here this is the handheld Let's have a little look at this. What are we, oh yes, the dongle. Dong oh, and batteries. Uh, cool. Uh, aerial. Aerial. Antenna. Aerial's a bit old school, isn't it? 
uh, that's me. Um, here's the USB receiver for the antenna. Can't get it out one-handed. Never mind. We can see what it is. Uh, there we go. So the antenna plugs into that. Got the batteries. Got the hand. Oh, magnetic as well. I think they all are. But there we go. So that's got that bit. Let's have a look at the bit that I'm probably most excited about, which is the um, which is the. Oh, I really must get a tripod. Um, which is the board itself. And there it is, in all its glory. Uh, we have on the back, it's, it can be DIN rail mounted, which is superb. I'm not going to unwrap it. I'm not exactly in a static free environment. Um, but there's many, many inputs and outputs. Yeah, looking good. It's, it's got some heft to it, I have to say. It's got some weight to it, which is nice. Um, yeah, lots of little... Uh, switches for settings, the two LAN ports there, this is all the motor ports, uh, which is nice. So, yeah, labelled labeled nicely as well. So we have y, uh, Z, Y1, X, Y, and there's even what looks like an A on the end. Like I say, the lighting's a little bit um, crabby, but I don't really want to unplug this. Oh, sorry, unplug it, unwrap it. But that's, that's the bit I've been waiting for. Uh, we have a little Windows Mini PC. Industrial platform. Um, oh, this is dinky. I like this. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not afraid to pull this out of the bag if I can. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's just uh, a cover for... The VGA port. VGA, good God. Uh, there we go, let's stick that back on for now because I'm in the workshop. Uh, we've got our power in, audio, uh, Ethercat, LAN, HDMI, VGA, power button. Uh, anything else on this? Uh, COM port on the back. Dinky. Like it. Um, what do we got here? So we've got the EK EPC. Okay. Nice. Uh, can't wait to fire that up. See what's on it. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, I, I have no idea yet how to put all this together. I have read the documentation for it, and so yeah, what I'm what, what I plan to do is put all this together and fire it up and just see how it all connects and talks to each other uh i wanted to do the um uh, you know use my own laptop uh, or pc for this i want to use my laptop however a bit of a downer it hasn't got a ethernet port so what i'm going to have to do is well i already have ordered a usb ethernet adapter on the old uh, big old amazon uh, and then uh, when that turns up, which should be later today, uh, I will have a go at firing this lot up. Um, I don't know whether it's wise to fire it up without the motors connected. I have no idea. I should have thought it'd be fine. Um, just to just to check that everything works, it all recognises uh, on my on my laptop, and that that little PC works. I'm I'm a little bit unsure about the. Um, about this little PC. I don't really understand why it cannot be, why you can't directly drive to the board. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Um, we will, we will see. Uh, I, I really do need to read the documentation a little bit more. If anybody knows any more about this, then please let me know. I'm sure it's only kind of a slave PC, but we shall see. Uh, I'll work all of that out a little bit later. But there we go. That's the, that's the good news. It's finally turned up. I'm very, very excited about using it, I have to say. Um, it's one of those things that uh, that is the start of this project. Uh, I'm dying to do the rest, but um, as I've already mentioned, there are certain constraints, uh, time and, and financial, but we'll get there. Believe you me, please stick with me. This will happen. It's just a matter of when, but I, I'm, 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 I'm going to keep pursuing this until it's done. Uh, and I cannot wait to show you guys. Uh, big donor, um, last video. 
uh, which was the preamble for the uh, for this machine build. Uh, those motors are not compatible with this board. Uh, the, the, the problem that they said, their technical department said, was that uh, I would have to have four almost identical motors and drives for this board to work at its optimum. I don't know what the technical problems are there. Uh, those uh, those dri those drives and motors they look fine uh, Yaskawa they they look fine to me they they looked as though they were going to do the job however we've had a little bit of a kick in the tail with that it's not going to happen I don't think and I don't really want to plug them into this board uh, with the you know with Skyfire saying no it's two older generation motors so we've got to look at spending another chunk of money for. Uh, we're going to have to go lead shine, which is the the, the cheaper um, motors. I don't really mind. At the end of the day, we need to uh, we need to get the get them just get it running. Um, we can always upgrade later. It's, it's part of the reason actually for doing a, a, a DIY rather than buying or leasing or you know other financial sort of uh, purchasing options for lasers. The main reason is that I wouldn't. I'd hate to think that I'd spent. 40, 50, 60,000 grand of somebody else's money um, on a project that uh, we'd find it quite difficult to make money from. I've done a, quite a bit of market research on laser cutting in this area, and I think the only way we're going to make really good coin is by offering a swift turnaround, a uh, quick turnaround. We shall see. Um, this is one of the reasons why I'm trying to keep this sub £10,000 the, the whole show. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can do it. It's going to be it's going to be close, but I'm pretty sure we can do it. Um, so there we are. This is, this is where we're at, and I really must stop saying um. So uh, good news is this has arrived. Uh, good news is we've got a lot of the table built, which you saw at the beginning of the video. Well, not built, beg your pardon, designed. We are ready to build. We'll be ordering a steel for that next week, the end of next week, with a bit of luck. We are still waiting for the unit that we've taken on next door to become free and available and then we'll start putting all the stuff in there and locking it up very tightly uh, i think the first thing we will probably get to build is going to be the electric box so that we can start putting this in um, as we get it and make sure that it's going to fit how we uh, how we envisage it. Uh, it like i say it's all din rail mount pretty much i'm pretty excited about the design of the table i have to say it's it's only in fusion at the moment but uh, it's the idea behind it seems quite cool. We might have to cheap out on a few things, whether we like it or no. So the rack and pinion mounts, for instance, probably gonna have to be straight cut the same as, uh, as our plasma, which you've seen in previous vids. I would love helical, uh, it's expensive. We're gonna go to 20 mil rail, rather uh, high wind rail or H wind. I always forget which way you what they are instead of 25 which is another little bit of a kick in the teeth uh, but it's just the constraints we're going to work to get this under ten thousand pound we have to uh, there's no way that we can spend more than that but the main thing is at the end of the day we'll have the machine we will have it bought and paid for and then everything else is going to be uh, icing and cherries on the cake so there you go, and um, thanks for following me on this. I've had a lot of good feedback. I'm very excited. Um, I'm over the moon at people uh, following and, and watching this with, uh, you know, with, with probably bated breath. I wouldn't hold your breath too long, ago, guys. Okay. Um, so we're going to uh, press on. Uh, please like and subscribe. Any questions, please leave uh, below. I'm more than happy to answer. This is a naked raw build you will see as always all the screw-ups all the mistakes all the good stuff and all the bad stuff so it's going to be a good shit bad shit um build but i'm not going to hide anything uh, this is why i'm telling you about the financial constraints you quite often see a lot of vids online people building stuff and you're thinking oh in god's name can you afford you know 10 grand for that um I don't know how they do it. We are just doing it because we want a laser cutter. We're doing it because I think it's in the interest of the DIY market. 
Um, things are becoming very, very expensive. I think the way forward in business is to build and manufacture as much of your own kit as possible. And this is what I'm setting out to achieve. And I just want other people to uh, not be afraid to do these things. I'm afraid a lot of the time. I'm scared to death half the time. But we, all of us here, the, the guys who work for me, uh, we, we don't hold back. If we want something, we make it, we build it, we do whatever we can to, you know, to uh, forward the business, which is always great. Um, so there we are. There we have it. It's, it's, it's one of those, like I say, it's going to be a warts and all build. And I honestly can't thank you guys enough for support, uh, for the subscribes and the likes and what have you. It is a great feeling. I have to say, it spurs me on without doubt. I can see what the kind of the rush is. I started doing these videos a long time ago, thinking, oh yeah, it'd be nice to document, it'd be nice to look back on, it'd be nice to show the guys how we got to this point um, and have them, you know, stored kind of forever in the youtube verse. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at the interest because I am a little UK Devon boy that's just trying to um, broaden his horizons and educate himself. And if I can educate other people along the way, happy days. Uh, when I find out more about this kit, I will do little vids. There'll be a few shorts popping out. Um, may, probably the bad stuff will be shorts. Um, and, the, and the big successes will probably be the longer videos. But at the risk of letting this run past a 15 minute video with me waffling again, uh, I'm just really, really excited. I'm stoked. Um, for want of a better word, uh, about this build. And I cannot wait. So stand by. We have got a power supply coming. We will fire this up. We will find out what it's made of. And uh, let's see. Thanks again. Really appreciate all your um, all your comments and subscribes and, and everything. I, I want to set up a Patreon channel. I don't know really how to do it at the minute. Uh, and I don't know what kind of interest or help that will that will give me. Uh, if, if somebody can let me know, somebody who's probably already got a Patreon channel, it'd be real nice, purely because I don't want to spend a huge amount of time on this stuff and not put the time into building the machine, if you see what I mean. My time is exceedingly limited. I've got to work really hard all week to make the business work, and this is, is a bit of a bit of a sideshow really for, for for want of a better word i don't want that to sound make it sound cheap but this is something that i want to do i'm interested in doing it i love doing it it's just there are only 24 hours in a day anyway take care thanks for watching really appreciate it cheers